Yeah, it was emotional. So, I mean, this whole week, uh, I think on uh, Wednesday, they told me my dad was in the hospital. Um, he's been dealing with MS since 2004. And they said that he was uh, like on life support, like breathing through a tube or whatever. And they said, um, you know, he pretty much just said that he's tired of fighting. And uh, he pretty much said like, they're gonna take the tube out or whatever. So they took the tube out. Um, so it was just like, my mom was basically saying like, he's not gonna probably make it. So I already had in my head that he wasn't gonna uh, like survive or whatever. And then um, they actually took the tube out and for two days he was breathing on his own, which was really good. It was a good sign that he was gonna be fine. And then literally like literally right before we was about to um, go on the field, my cousins were texting me saying condolences to your dad. Um, and then my uncle texted me like, you know, your dad passed away, like rest in peace, whatever. Um, so that's how I found out on my phone right before I was about to run out. So like, it was really emotional. And then the national anthem played, and I just was crying and stuff. And yeah, it was emotional, man. And DJ, what was it like when you came down with that interception? Yeah, man, I honestly forgot about the score and all that. I didn't really, I don't want to say I didn't care because I care about winning, but it was just deeper than football. Like when I got the interception, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to pay tribute to my dad to do that. I already knew what I was going to do, and that's what I did.